Hello ladies and manly ladies! Hey Shipkin Plays and I'm Fabio Pisco. Today we're here for a video of how to over... not overclock? How to improve performance on Ryzen. In this case I will be using the Ryzen 5 1600 but well, this serves for all the Ryzen systems and the Intel systems as well. So you can do this in a, on an Intel system if you want. Some people have been asking me, hey man can you help me? Well, I since I have my Ryzen system I have sudden FPS drops and etc. So I'm here to help you guys. You don't know how to overclock, you don't know how to do many things, I'm here to help you, and well, that's me. So now with the tips. So tip number one, overclock your damn CPU! You have a Ryzen who can be overclocked, so why not overclock your CPU? If you don't overclock your CPU, go to the damn BIOS and overclock your CPU right now! If you don't know how to do it, well, you have two videos. We have two videos here, so one on how to overclock on the MSI B350 Tomahawk and the second one on the Asus ROG Strix B350. So it's quite easy, I will tell you how to overclock the CPU and how to overclock the RAM. I'll show you my settings and, and many other things you can see in my, bio, in my BIOS. Second one, overclock again your damn RAM. Ryzen, damn RAM. Damn RAM, damn RAM, damn RAM, damn RAM. <laughs> Ryzen is bound to memory speed. Why? Simple, because of the infinity fabric. Simplifying things. Sock speed will be half the speed of your DDR memories or the DDR memories uh, true speed. Well, search it on Wikipedia. So if you have higher memory frequency, you'll have the, um, and higher frequency on the sock as well so that will give you a boost on FPS you have these videos of different memory speed tests I have made before well some are in Portuguese but well you can see the subtitles you have two the single channel versus dual channel videos videos not video here so you can see that you can see that on the video we have a huge boost using um, dual channel versus the single channel. So dual channel any time of the day and night and ear and seconds and that. So guys, to the tip number three. Now we have to go to there, to the monitor, to the Windows desktop, etc., etc. So I can show you the rest of the tips. Thanks a lot and let's go now. So guys, now the third tip, it's quite simple, just in this case I have the Asus B350 Strix, so go to Google, search your motherboard model on the, um, on the internet, so Asus B350 Strix, and well this is about one simple thing, this is about the... Um, about the chipset drivers. So AMD has launched some chi some chipset drivers that improve the performance on Ryzen systems quite uh, quite good. Not the super boost, but a nice boost. These all combined give a nice boost. So let's go now. So support. This means support. It's in Portuguese. So support waiting drivers and utilities windows 10 64 bit so chipset go there chipset amd chipset driver download and install this this is the third one so this is pretty important the chipset drivers the fourth one guys the fourth one is power options so power options simple let's go here to the windows control panel if this doesn't appear here click here on the right button and you have <coughs> sorry guys or you had you had before oh damn windows i i hate this so go here and search control panel see desktop app open it go to the power options 
and as you may see here I performance so on the default it will be on balance but you want I performance so the CPU won't won't be like up and down on on frequencies and etc so you want I performance to have the better um, the better performance you can have that's another simple tip now the fifth and the last tip I can give you is unpark your damn CPU and park the damn CPU so CPU CPUs are mostly well like the frequencies like I said before are balancing and the CPU is not always at 100% but when CPU goes from imagine 20 to 100% there's some lag and some stutter there some latency per se and well, you have to avoid this. If you want to avoid this and want max performance, this works on Intel CPUs as well. And you you gain a nice boost. I have gained a nice boost several times. I always do this, um, be it Intel or AMD. I always do this. So CPU Core Parking 3. Download this. You can search on on Google. It's free, by the way. So run as an administrator. Okay, the, um, the software is searching, searching for the CPU, as you may see we are already at 100%, so if you are not on 100% just see current min processor speed, so all 100%, you put this bar at 100% and click apply, that's it guys. These tips all will give you a nice and decent boost and maybe stop your, your PC from stuttering and from dropping FPS. That's mostly it guys. Sorry for the video being a little long. Sorry if I couldn't explain you better or sorry if you have already done this. Well anyway, just don't forget to hit like and subscribe to help the channel. And thanks one more time guys. Be well you all. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.